I think if you're doing lots of programming, if you're not using Vim motions, you're just you're, you. You're just wasting time. Okay, you're just wasting time. I'm wasting time. I do not think that you should start out in Vim if you have no familiarity with Vim. Then I will stick with VS Code and install the Vim plugin. Now, I think one of the big mistakes when learning Vim is that you try to learn every single key possible. Then I will start with just H, J, K, L for moving the cursor. I will be practicing Vim motions by building a simple VS Code extension. I watched a lot of Vim motions videos, but I will not move on to new keys until I've mastered the current ones. There is one problem with this strategy. I cannot type. Let's unlock the next keys we will use. I've unlocked I for input mode, escape for going back to normal mode, and colon W to save changes. If only there was a way to delete comments faster. Look how pressing I at the end of the line leaves a single character. To speed up my learning, the extension I'm building will have exercises for Vim motions. This way I'm practicing both when coding and when I'm not. This exercise is for getting used to moving with H, J, K and L. The extension only has to create the file and monitor where the cursor steps. Stepping on the stars should be game over. I forgot I can't copy. Now I have to retype the demonstration all over again in the JSON file so the extension can read it. Character replacement with lower R or capital R would be perfect for this. Hope I unlock it soon. I made a mistake and to undo it, I could go into input mode and press Ctrl Z, but I feel like that's cheating. I will wait until U and Ctrl R is unlocked. Every time I forget to append something to the end of the line, I have to go into input mode, delete and retype the last character. I cannot wait for the append key. What? While manually copying, I made a mistake and this happened. The first game is complete only using input mode and HJKL for movement. It only has two levels. Only one mistake and you go back to the very first level. Now what are the next keys I can use? I can finally copy, delete, paste and I have a replaced mode. Nice. Instantly I increased the levels from 2 to 51 and play through all of them. This is such a rage game when you fail at high level and have to go to the very first one. It's so much easier now that I can copy and paste. And this replace mode feels like it's made for this. If there was a way to quickly select the vertical lines and change them once. I found out while in replace mode pressing backspace doesn't delete but give back the previous value. I plan for the next game to practice relative line jumping. With deletion or copying, you can delete one line by repeating the key, but adding a number applies the action to multiple lines. Same goals for the H, J, K, L I practiced in game 1. Makes it fast going a particular line. Now that the code has gotten longer, wish there was a way to scroll up and down faster. Not having the A key to append to the end of the line is getting really annoying. And for copying, I can copy lines, but I can't copy just this word. I want to move this whole function but it's hard to see where exactly it ends. I know of a key that allows me to jump to its matching bracket. Hope I unlock it soon. As an alternative to not having the append key, I go down a line and with shift I, I start inserting at the start of the bottom line. We have a problem. How do I indent this? If VS Code didn't auto format on file save, I would have been doomed. It's so slow without having the motions for horizontal movement. I asked GPT if there is a way to count visible lines on current open file. But when I try to copy paste part of the code, Vim just pastes what I yanked last time. Maybe unlocking the registers would help me out later on. The exercise for relative line jumping is complete. The levels are potentially infinite and I reach level 57. Let's see what are the next keys. I can append text, scroll up and down, move by a word and search forward the word under the cursor. I've never been happier to scroll a page in my life. I can quickly move horizontally jumping by word. Finally I don't have to do weird key combinations just to write at the end of the line. And using star I can quickly find the definition of a function. The third game will help you get used to typing with I or A. 
I always forget which one moved the cursor to the left and which one to the right. It's easier to delete now, but I wish I could delete up until the double quote character and to automatically be put into input mode. Instead of having to go into insert mode and use backspace, it will be a lot faster to do it with one button. Starting a new line with a pen is still too slow. We should could be done with one button. I still can't copy part of sentences. I need either a way to select or copy up until a character. I can go forward by a word but can't backwards. Scrolling down half a page is fast but not fast enough if I want to reach the bottom. I have a bug in a function and with the star I can quickly find the definition and go even deeper in subfunctions. The game is ready and randomly generated. Shift plus I teleports you left, Shift plus A to the right. As levels progress, so does the length of the tower. Again, failing brings you back to level 0. I managed to reach level 25. Which new keys we will get now? We unlocked visual mode, going to particular character, undo, redo, open new line below current one and moving back a word. This one is quite packed. We can now delete up until a particular character. Undo and redo, move back a word, open a line under current one, and with shift plus O above. But most importantly visual mode, pressing V starts highlighting under the cursor. Shift plus V allows to highlight whole lines. Now I can copy part of a line much faster. Also what I couldn't wait for is visual block mode by pressing Ctrl plus V. Now I can make levels for game 0 even faster by selecting vertically multiple stars and changing them once. Or do something more advanced like inserting at the start of multiple lines the same string and repeat for the end of the line. If only there was a key for repeating the last action. Here I can't delete till the second closing bracket in one command. The next game should teach the player when you search for a character with T that you can repeat the search forward with semicolon and backward with the comma. But the game to work, the user should actually use the F key, which is the same but places the cursor right under the character. Using Shift T or Shift F searches backwards. I will play the game when I lock the F key. After unlocking so many keys now, we can do this. I learned it from Prime. With VA and a bracket, you can select the code inside them, including the brackets themselves. Pressing O inside the selection moves you to either one of the two ends. Shift V selects the entire line and you have now selected the entire function and can press D for delete or Y for copy. Look what I found. You can type a number, insert something and it will type it out that many times. Here I can just delete up until the double quote. The game is complete and works as expected. I only made 10 levels for it. Let's see what we will get. Slash for search, dot to repeat pass command, GG to go to the top of the page, capital G to the bottom of the page and X to delete the character under the cursor. Now I can directly delete single character without having to go into input mode. I can delete up till the closing bracket and repeat the same command until I reach the outer one. I can quickly reach the top and bottom of a page with GG and capital G. Also, when there is an error on a particular line, I can type the line with capital G and that moves me directly on that line. And with G, V, I can bring back the previous selection. When we use block select, now we don't have to block select again using G, V. But the most exciting one is the search. To search type slash and what you want to search for. Enter brings you back to normal mode, but now N and Shift N cycles through the search results. Ctrl O brings you back when you started the search. For the few days of the challenge, we got to cover enough features. There are even more that are useful that we haven't looked at. We will stop here and I will stick with what we've learned for some time before I look at other keys. Obviously coding with Vmotions is faster because of how much there is to learn. What I learned from this video is that I should not learn Vmotions but rather learn those motions that I will actually use in my day to day life. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. If you see potential in me, be sure to subscribe. And if you want more videos like this, like the video. Here is the first exercise from the intro 
but now done with Vim motions.